Hi there, once again welcome back to my channel. Consider subscribing if today is your first time and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. And in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to max or how to clip max image into any shape using Photoshop. So as you can see on my screen, I've actually clip max or just attach images to any shape on my screen. I'm going to show you how to do this step by step with no step skip. So without much I do, let's jump right into action and see how we can actually add clip marks to images in Photoshop. So we can do this in any shape at all. So what I'm going to do is that I have created a new background layer already. If you don't know how to do that, just go to file, click on new and then select the size of the paper you want to use. And then you have something similar to mine. So there's option over here to set out the paper size you can use. I've done some videos on Photoshop already, so you can check my channel for that. But once you get your background ready, you can actually bring any image at all you want to use, and then we can apply our clip marks. Okay, so let me go to my images and then select any image at all I want to use. So I'm going to drag this image onto my Photoshop. Just drop it on top of this, and I can go ahead and then just resize this by dragging in. And once this is done, just click on the check or hit the command key on or the enter key on your keyboard to confirm this so our image is set and we can actually clip mask this image and we can get this image in, into any shape at all assume you want this image in a circular format then just go to what the shape icons over here that's a custom shape just click on that when you click and hold down there are several shapes over here we have the custom shapes and the eclipse shapes that we have the ellipse shape right so if you want any shape, you want to convert this image into a circular shape, then we can go for the ellipse tool, then drag on top of this image. But in order to get a perfect shape, press and hold on the shift key on your keyboard whilst you drag, okay? And once you do this, if you don't have this perfectly, you can just go back and select your move tool. And then you still have control to move your image and make sure your image is aligned at exactly where you want. But before that, if you pick the shape tool over here anytime you pick the shape to make sure from the top here you change it from what shape to what path if you leave it as shape as and you drag on top of this it's going to cover this with a background color so you can see this is going to apply a background color we don't want a background color we just want to create a shape so i'll just control z to undo this and then make sure i change this at the top to what path so I'll create a path around it. Just select, hold down shift and drag on top of this. Once you are done, you want everything perfect. Just go for your move tool and reposition this. Okay. Once everything is done, come to where you have your layer background. And far at the bottom over here, the layer panel, we're going to click on what? Add what? Layer max. Okay. So when you double click on this, it's going to apply the layer max. So you can see we now have our image in what? A circular shape. Okay. And that is exactly what we want to achieve. So once you have this at your layer panel, you can go ahead and do anything at all you want to do. If you want to add a shadow to this, you can go ahead and then just double click on that layer on the layer background. And then it's going to open the layer stuff for you. And then you can add a shadow to this. So you can see shadow will appear. I can increase the size of that shadow. I can actually spread this. And I can also increase the distance of this shadow. So there are several things. If you want to add stroke to this as well, you can do that. And the stroke can also be changed into gradient. So subscribe and then also turn on the notification bell. Because there's a lot of tips and tricks I'm going to show you in Photoshop and other advanced features in Photoshop. We can add inner shadows as well to this design. Do adjustment to this. And see, we can add an eye. Uh, we can add inner shadow and then do adjustment to that. So we see we've been able to add a shape to this. So we're going to try a few more of this and also like and share this video. And give me a thumb up, okay? Just try that thumb up. YouTube have done some upgrade to that, so just try it. Share this video. So let's bring another image, and we'll use the custom shapes on this particular image. Okay, so let me just go ahead and then pick any image at all. I think I have a picture of myself, and I'll just drag it and drop it here. Okay, so this is a picture of myself, and let me just click on the check icon to confirm this. So once this is set, I can go back to my shape option. I'll go for custom shape this around this time around. I'll go for custom shapes this time around because I have a lot of shapes over there I can pick from. 
So you can see from here, there are several custom shapes that I can use. So whatever shapes I want to use, I can just select that from my list and make sure you're using the path node shape. Okay, so once that is selected, just drag it on top of the image where you want to apply your layer mark. So that is what I want to have mine. And then once this is done, just go back and then at the layer panel, just double click on that to apply what the layer mark. So you can see this has been converted as well. If you want to go ahead and add some few borders, do some layer style to that, you can equally do that. So you can see what is happening. I can equally do that, apply these features to them. You can change the gradient you are using and any other things you want. So there are several things you can do with this layer mark. So you can even do that with text. You can apply that to text. So I'm going to do the last one. Then remember to like and share this video because I have some amazing stuff coming. Okay. Uh, I'm going to teach you tips and tricks in Photoshop. So I'll drag my last image here and then I'll just resize this. Click on the check icon and I'll do this last change and that'll be all for this video. I'll go back to my shape and then make sure I pick a different shape. So you can use any shape at all for this and it's going to work. So I'm going to use this and I'll just drag it on top of this image just like this go back and add layer mask double click on that and you can see we have this as well so it's, it's as if the person is thinking and i want to just go ahead and then add some other layer style to the you can add shadow as usual you can add stroke to that so the stroke can be any stroke at all you can use gradient pattern and whatever so there are so many tips and tricks in photoshop i'm going to be teaching you like and subscribe because i have amazing stuff coming up on this channel and I hope by the end of this year, we're going to do amazing stuff. So till I come your way again, like and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. Bye-bye.